were going to make a Wapich, and then someone in the company thought that was a terrible idea and stopped it. And I kind of agree with that. Yeah. Th there aren't very many female villains in the Nintendo universe, especially, like, humanoid ones. I th Like, uh, who's the girl from the Wario Land series? Like, Captain Maple or something like that? Captain Syrup. She's, like, oh. the only one I can think of off the top of my head. I'm not counting, like, Dark Samus, which I would... <laughs> But yeah, like there's a, a very low amount of female villains in the Nintendo universe, or humanoid villains. Because, I mean, there's like Kami Koopa, uh, Wendy Koopa, Evil Peach, that one time. <laughs> Captain Syrup, okay, yeah, come on. How does Emil have so much money for these 3DSs? He works a lot. Is the best way to put it. John, why is Yoshi's New Island so bad? I was thinking of getting it, and now I'm not. Oh, I um, I have ranted about this so many times. I kind of don't want to do it again. But uh, we streamed Yoshi's New Island a couple fortune cookies back. That's probably your best bet. If you go into the the video archive here on Twitch, you can see that stream. And you can see what exactly I think of Yoshi's New Island and why I don't like it. The the short of it is, it's kind of boring, except for like the very end of the game. And the difficulty is really kind of everywhere. It's either like too easy or too difficult. And it just doesn't. It feels soulless in a way. I don't know. It doesn't feel right to me. It's hard. It's hard to put properly into words. There's just bad decisions everywhere. There's tilt controls for like. Certain portions of the game. I don't know. The, I'm I'm also leaving out the fact that like the opening theme song is stupid as fuck, mainly because of like their weird abuse of like car horns and kazoo's, like to a not funny degree. <laughs> That's more like it. I don't mind. I don't mind the Yoshi's <laughs> Island or the Yoshi's Story soundtrack by comparison. He bought those 3DSs, and yet he still managed to buy 24 copies of Xenoblade. He kind of likes that game a lot. Don't know if you're aware of that about that with him. Why do you want 24 copies? It'll make sense eventually. He's like, I'm going to give it out to my friends for like Christmas and shit. I'm like, okay. I think, most oh. your, I think most of your friends already have the game, though, but whatever. Oh, he, okay. he just wants like that backup Christmas gift. Okay. Like, man, I really don't have any of these games. Take this! I also think he got them when they were on sale, when they were, like, 40 not when they were 80 bucks. so... Are you better at certain games than Tim and Emil, or vice versa? Um, yeah, that's kind of how it works with any game, really. There's <laughs> games that were... There's games that certain people specialize in, there's games that they don't. Tim's good at, like, puzzle games. Emil's good at... something. <laughs> I, I'm not actually saying that to be, like, entirely in jest, because I don't actually know what Emil kind of specializes in. And I, and I wouldn't say I, in particular, specialize in anything, but I guess most people would probably say platforming games. I'd, I'd probably say Emil's better at 3D platformers than I am. So I, I would probably say Emil, like, folks, is good at 3D platforming. Or, like, RPGs. <laughs> Who buys backup Christmas gifts? That's... Wait, that's clever. God damn it. <laughs> John, have you met some, ever met some Call Me Johnny? Yeah, I met him at PAX. Nice guy. I'm totally over five questions, by the way. So we'll just pick one last one. I, I barely spoke to some Call Me Johnny. Because uh, me and him did the Sonic Hacking Contest last year. The what? The Sonic Hacking Contest last year. Oh, right. Remember, it's something to do with all those hacks I showed you last time that you were on my stream. Mm. I didn't realize he did those. Uh, he doesn't do anything about it, usually. It was like, this was the first time they approached him about it. And uh, he streamed through them and gave his opinions on them, and I think was a judge as well. Nice. 
Uh, Darklaw, Chugga does YouTube for a living. That's his job. Same with Tim. <laughs> John's specialization is games that break. John's specialization is bad games. <laughs> I didn't realize people didn't know that YouTube was Chugga's job. You I, <laughs> I kind of want this to be the, the closing question of the night. John, what do you like about Emil? <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for joining everyone tonight. <laughs> uh, no, okay, I'll be nice, I'll be nice. Uh, despite all the shit I give Chugga, he's actually a pretty good friend. Uh, he'll listen to if anything's up. He'll actually ask if something's wrong. Uh, he'll help out in any situation he can. Like if if money is an issue, he like he'll help out in any way he can. Like that hasn't been the case for me per se, but he's helped out other people like that. Um. <laughs> now I'm half joking about all this stupid shit. Um. He he is generally an actually nice person, despite how he might seem like a dick at times in TRG. And he does, he does get on my case a lot about shit, but I mean, I get on his case about stuff too, so it kind of balances out in a way. I don't, I don't know how to put it. He's actually like a nice guy, and he does organize things usually for TRG and gets a lot of stuff done. It can be a pain in the ass getting some things that I need for him, usually for the panel. Like, uh, fucking getting the car designs this year was pulling teeth, but apparently there was complications on that, not necessarily on his end, but... Uh, I don't know. Like he's he's a he's a good devoted friend. Just just don't tell him I told you that, because then he would never let me live that down. And now that I've said that, it's <laughs> probably already on Twitter. But fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> All right, that's it for tonight's stream, guys. Thanks for tuning in, Mega G Wolf. Thank you so much for being on commentary all night tonight. I'm impressed. You've got to be like exhausted as hell over there. It's like 10 o'clock where you're at right now. Yep, I'm gonna be hitting the bed with my face. Good plan. Would you like to pimp yourself out before we close off for the night? Okay, hang on. Uh, I do a streamy thingy where I play games on the that, on the Twitch. And I have a gaming channel which I play more games, funny enough, what? on the net, on the YouTubes. Excellent. And I do have a second channel, but I won't go about that. Fair enough. All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. No ETA on the next stream. I I was going to hopefully stream a little bit of Child of Light while I was capturing footage for it, like I did with Rayman. But I'm under an NDA on that. I can't show any footage of it until the embargo is lifted, which, funny enough, the embargo is t is Wednesday. So theoretically, Wednesday onward, I could stream it. But I don't know. I We'll see. Take it easy, guys. I don't know why I saluted you in real life. I just did that because I can. <laughs> Good night, everybody. We'll see you next stream. Okay, bye. Disappoint!